Hi, I'm Steve Scott, founder of Max International. And today I have the honor, and I mean honor, of interviewing two members of our Medical Advisory Board. Now, our Medical Advisory Board is not paid. Uh, they have utilized the products, they have utilized products with their patients, and they have seen the results. And one is Dr. Don Colbert, a New York Times best-selling author of over 40 books. Uh, tens of millions of people have seen him on TV. He's been on Fox. He's been on just about every kind of program you could imagine. He is as focused on prevention as he is on treatment. Uh, he has told me that he would rather keep people uh, from going to the hospital and getting sick than treating them once they're sick. The second doctor that I'm with, his name is Dr. Douglas Harrington. Uh, he was on the Stanford Heart Transplant Team. He is uh, board certified in pathology and hematology. Uh, he is currently the CEO of a company that I'm excited about because they have pioneered a breakthrough way to uh, tell the true risk that a person has for heart attack and stroke that looks at a, a lot of biomarkers that normally haven't been looked at and they're taking that test to the world and it's going to save a lot of lives. Dr. Colbert, Dr. Harrington, thank you so much. I can't even begin to tell you uh, how grateful I am for everything you've done in your life that led up to here, for what you have contributed in this past year to us, and, and just the difference that you men are making in the lives of so many, and for us, the lives right now of hundreds of thousands and someday tens of millions that are benefiting from what you all are, are bringing to our efforts. So well, thank Steve, you Steve, I much. thank you, and for me, <clears throat> I count it an honor to be part of the MAX team. Thank you. And likewise, I'm, it's, it's a, not only is it an honor, it's a lot of fun. Good. We love fun. <laughs> fun That's keeps right. us young, and yeah. at our age, we've got to do something, right? That's right. We right. have the energy to enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's start with glutathione in general, and Don, why don't we start with you? Just tell me why glutathione is so important, what your experience has been with glutathione over the years. Well, first of all, glutathione was actually discovered in 1888 by a French scientist, D. Ray Palhade, mm -hmm. but, but it wasn't until the 1970s that we truly discovered the detoxification abilities or capabilities of glutathione. Mm -hmm. But the thing that excites me most about glutathione is its anti-inflammatory properties. You see, glutathione is this molecule that is an intracellular antioxidant that is the master antioxidant in the whole body and it's mainly, it's intracellular. Mm -hmm. And what it does, it quenches free radical reactions, I mean pretty much all free radical reactions. It recycles other, anti um, other antioxidants, including itself. And it also, what it does, it suppresses those inflammatory mediators and quenches the free radical reactions and detoxifies chemical solvents, heavy metals. So you're getting this tremendous benefit from one single antioxidant. But not just that. I mean, that alone would just amaze most people, most doctors, most individuals. But also, we have its energy effects. Because uh, realize energy comes from the mitochondria of the cell. They're the energy storehouses in which makes ATP our energy currency. But the very process of um, breathing oxygen, exercising, causes tremendous amounts of oxidative stress in the body and especially in the mitochondria. And it produces hydrogen peroxide, singlet oxygen, oxidative free radicals that actually damage the mitochondria. And by damaging the mitochondria, it affects its ability to produce energy. So people start to get fatigued, but not only that, it starts to produce actually more free radicals that are not quenched, more damage. And that process goes on and on until the mitochondria become dysfunctional. And then it simply can't exert the energy in that cell it needs in order to accomplish all the functions of the cell. And so realize organs such as the heart, th those muscles, that muscle, that one cell may have 2,500 mitochondria, but just think if the majority are dysfunctional, working at only 50% capacity, just think how that heart's going to get weaker, ejection fraction get weaker. The same with the kidneys, the same with the, the liver, the same with the lungs, same with the brain. But the brain is even more concerning because there's more oxidative stress in the brain than any other organ because mm. it takes up more oxygen than any other organ, and there's more fatty 
membranes in the brain, which causes more oxidative peroxidation, free radical stress in the brain. Mm -hmm. Wow. Doug? Well, I've <clears throat> been fascinated for years about the claims that companies make about antioxidants. And one of the things that's always intrigued me is the thought that you could take certain substances and that, like glutathione orally, and that it would actually have action. And the truth is that it's broken down in, in the GI tract. And the beauty of what uh, compounds like Celgevity do, and ribosine in particular, is that it helps the body produce this important substance, glutathione, mm -hmm. that allows it to take the effects that Don just talked about from the body by mitigating the inflammation. And uh, it does so by combining one of the compounds that's involved in energy, ribose, and also in your DNA and RNA, ribonucleic acid, those mm -hmm. sorts of things. And it bypasses your GI tract where it's damaged, gets into your body, and actually gets into the cell, and it's not activated until it gets into the cell. So when you think about that, it's a beautiful little package of power that does those things that uh, orally taking a fruit juice or something like that really can't do because Antioxidants in and of themselves are somewhat confusing to people. They, th they know it sounds important. Mm -hmm. They know it should be something that they're concerned about. But the truth of the matter is very few of them really understand the important things that Don just talked about, which is what they do in the body. So they think it's important. But it's really the function of the body to produce this ma master antioxidant. And the interesting thing about it is that the compounds that go into forming glutathione are deficient in the diet of humans uh, in order to uh, get enough cysteine, which is the amino acid that's important. You need to add on about 2,000 calories a day by getting it from protein sources. Uh, I don't know how many gallons of asparagus you'd have to eat, but here you have it in one simple, very well-constructed compound with other uh, nutritional supplements in it that will actually help the body. It gets through the GI tract and gets into the cell, and that's why I think the things that, that we're doing here with Max International are very important because in order for it to work, it has to get into the body, it has to activate the enzyme and make the compound. And, uh, and we know from the scientific studies that have gone on looking at ribosine in particular, which is the active compound in Celgevity, it has a profound effect on the cellular production of glutathione. Mm -hmm. and it's, it, in, many senses is self-regulating. In other words, it'd be hard to overdose on this because it, it's very powerful, but the body kind of regulates how much it needs to make. Mm -hmm. So for those people who don't know about glutathione, all they have to do is Google glutathione. They're going to see 90,000 hits, and they'll realize how important it is. And I think it's, it's unfortunate that in medical school, you, you really don't get these sorts of, of things and that we had to come outside of the, quote, establishment. But now you've got people like myself and Don who were originally skeptics mm -hmm. that uh, are particularly uh, proud of the fact that this actually does what it should do and it's helping a lot of people. It's very important.